AI agents are no longer science fiction. They're working alongside us, making decisions, automating workflows, and even collaborating with each other. Today, we'll explore Agentic AI and the top frameworks that make it possible in 2025. For the last couple of years, we've gotten used to a certain type of AI. You ask it a question, it gives you an answer. You tell it to write a poem, it spits one out. It's a powerful tool, no doubt, but it's always been a one-and-done interaction. It waits for you, the human, to tell it exactly what to do next. But what if it didn't have to wait? What if an AI could take a goal, figure out the steps on its own, and just get it done? That's not science fiction anymore. That's the next big leap, and it's called Agentic AI. These aren't just chatbots. They're becoming our digital partners. Think about it like this. A basic AI is like a calculator. You punch in the numbers and the operation, and it gives you the result. An agentic AI is more like hiring a personal accountant. You just give them your financial goals for the year, and they handle the rest. They find the right software, they track your expenses, they file your taxes, and they might even give you advice on where to save. At its core, an AI agent is a system that can perceive its environment, make decisions, and take actions to achieve a specific goal. The key word here is autonomy. Unlike a standard language model that just responds to your prompt and then stops, an agent keeps going. It operates on a cycle, observe, think, act. It looks at the situation, figures out the best next step, and then does it. Think about the difference between a smart speaker and a true AI agent. You can tell your smart speaker to play a song and it does but you can't tell it to plan and book my entire weekend trip to San Francisco for under $500, the speaker would just get confused. An AI agent, on the other hand, is designed for exactly that kind of complex goal. It would understand the goal, break it down into smaller pieces, and start taking action. These systems aren't confined to a chat window. They can be given access to tools, like a web browser, a calculator, or an API for a flight booking website. This allows them to gather information, perform calculations, and execute tasks just like a human would. They can open a web page, read its contents, fill out a form, and click a button. Ultimately, Agentic AI is about giving models the power of agency, the capacity to act independently and make their own choices to achieve a goal you've set. So we've established that a single AI agent can be pretty powerful. But what happens when you get a bunch of them to work together as a team? That's where we get into the really exciting stuff multi-agent systems. Instead of having one general purpose agent that tries to do everything, you create a team of specialized agents, each with its own unique role and expertise. It's kind of like building a company. You don't just hire one employee. You hire a researcher, a writer, a project manager, and a critic, and have them collaborate to produce a much better result. One of the clearest examples is in customer service. Some companies are now deploying advanced AI agents that can access your account details, check on the status of an order, process a return, and even help you reschedule a delivery. Another powerful example is in personal productivity. Imagine an AI agent connected to your email and calendar. You could give it a command like, find a 30-minute slot next week for a meeting with Sarah and book it. In the world of software development, Agents are becoming invaluable assistants. A developer could ask an agent to add a new feature to my app that allows users to log in with their Google account. The agent could then analyze the existing code base, write the new code required for the feature, create test cases, and even open a pull request. And of course, there's the classic example we touched on earlier, travel planning. Services are emerging that use agents to handle the entire process. You tell it your destination, budget, and preferences, and it will search dozens of sites for the best deals, cross-reference hotel reviews, find top-rated Italian restaurants near your hotel, and present you with a complete itinerary. So, if you're a developer or just a tech enthusiast who wants to start building these AI agents, where do you begin? You don't have to start from scratch. There's a whole ecosystem of open-source frameworks designed to make building agents easier. These are the toolkits that provide the building blocks, the memory, the tool integrations, the planning logic, so you can focus on what makes your agent unique. First up, let's talk about the one that really started it all, LangChain. 
If you've heard anything about building applications with large language models, you've probably heard of Langchain. It was one of the first and most popular frameworks to emerge, providing a massive library of components for, honestly, everything you could imagine. However, for building true agents that need to make decisions in a loop, its original chain's abstraction could sometimes feel a bit rigid. This is where its successor, Langgraph, comes in. It takes all the great components from Langchain, but lets you define your agent's workflow as a graph. Now let's talk about the frameworks that were born and bred for multi-agent collaboration. Topping that list is Crew AI. What makes Crew AI so appealing, especially for beginners, is its simplicity and intuitive design. It's built around a role-playing concept. Next is Autogen, which comes from Microsoft Research. Autogen is incredibly powerful and a bit more research-oriented. Its core idea is creating conversable agents that can solve tasks by talking to each other. Then we have AutoGPT, one of the first projects to go viral and show the world what an autonomous agent could look like. Finally, it's worth mentioning a few others. Semantic Kernel from Microsoft is another excellent choice, especially for enterprise developers. Agent Lite is a newer, lightweight framework, and the OpenAI Agents SDK is still evolving, but it's one everyone is watching closely. With all these options, how do you actually choose the right framework for your project? The answer really depends on your goals, your technical skill level, and the complexity of the task you're trying to automate. If you are a beginner or your primary goal is rapid prototyping, Crew AI is a fantastic choice. For more serious, enterprise-grade automation, Langgraph shines. If your work is more on the academic or research side, Autogen from Microsoft Research is an excellent option. So that's the state of play for Agentic AI in 2025. We've moved beyond simple chatbots and into a world of autonomous, goal-driven systems that can act as our partners, assistants, and teammates. The potential here is just massive. The impact of this shift will be felt everywhere. For individuals, AI agents promise to automate the tedious parts of our digital lives. For businesses, multi-agent systems will unlock new levels of productivity. Of course, there are still challenges to overcome, but the progress is happening at an incredible pace. The frameworks are getting better, the models are getting smarter, and the ideas are getting more ambitious every single day. So, if any of this has sparked your interest, the best thing you can do is dive in. Pick a framework that sounds interesting. Maybe start with Crew AI for its simplicity. And try to build something. It doesn't have to be world-changing. The era of agentic AI is here. And it's not just for a handful of researchers in a lab anymore. It's for everyone. The tools are ready. The question is, what will you build?